Psalms Tuesday. I don't know, I must have missed last week's for some reason. But it made me smile here, remembering our Psalms Day that we find each week, usually around this time, sometimes Monday, usually it's Gospel Wednesday. You kind of learn these patterns and they uh, uh, connect with your the flow of your week. Um, it's quite a gift uh, of the church. Psalm 119, the longest chapter here in our scriptures. Uh, we're going to just take a, a bit of it right in the middle here. Start at verse 65 is where I'll meet you of Psalm 119. Uh, uh, it's an acrostic of um, sections through the Hebrew alphabet. Um, I don't have which one this one is in front of me, but that's neither here nor there. Let us go ahead then and read it together if you'd like, and then we'll share devotion from Christ in our home. You have dealt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was humbled, I went astray. But now I keep your word. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes. The arrogant smear me with lies, but with my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their hearts are fat and gross, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was humbled, so that I might learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is better to me than a thousand pieces of gold and silver. Or than a thousand pieces of gold and... Or, I did it again. Then thousands of gold and silver pieces. Sometimes your, uh, your mind plays tricks on you, eh? God's good law is the title of our devotion for this September 12th and invites our focus to that 68th verse right in the middle of our pericope this morning. You are good and do good. Teach me your statutes, O God. <clears throat> I once taught a college class called Introduction to the Christian Faith. For the first assignment, students created a visual image of their understanding of God. Portrayals included an old man, a strong woman, an angry judge, a cross and an empty tomb and composites of a variety of understandings. How do you understand God? Reflecting on who God is by meditating on God's law may not often be a part of our devotional lives. Yet Psalm 119 encourages us to do so. It may sound surprising, but when we remember that God in goodness gave us the law, and that at the root of the law is love, see Romans 13.8, we can be filled with praise. For the law and for God the lawgiver. The law is a mirror into which we look and see ourselves and our need for a savior. When we see our failure to live in love, we need not despair. Instead, we look to Jesus, who knew our failings, yet loved us all the way to his death. He fulfills the law once and for all. This is cause for praise indeed. And if you hear... Um, not Pastor Rick's wonderful piano from yesterday, but this other kind of ambient noise today. You're like, what is that? Especially if you're Pastor Heike up there in Illinois. That is indeed steady rain here in New Mexico. Um, we've had quite the hot last few months, and so this rain is ushering in at least a few days here of relatively um, more typical and cooler weather. What a, what, a, what a joy. You talk about praise as well, huh? Won't you pray uh, here with one another um, and our devotion writer from Christ in our home. Point me to Jesus, O God, that I might daily die to myself and rise with him. Amen. A baptismal prayer as we remember our baptism, uh, as we listen to the rain. Uh, may it continue, yes, to be God's blessings raining down on us and on this world. As this day unfolds before you, uh, wherever you find yourself today, be invited to continue in prayer for judges, for attorneys, for public defenders, uh, and may God's mercy continue to be for you and through you to this world. We'll see you tomorrow, friends.